Former President Donald Trump is facing rebuke from both parties after calling for the termination of parts of the Constitution. Trump, who announced last month that he is running again for president, made the claim over the weekend on his Truth social media platform. I thought it was a strange statement, but the Republicans are going to have to work out their issues with the former president and decide whether they're going to break from him uh, and return to some semblance of reasonableness or continue to lean into the extremism not just of Trump, but of Trumpism. The incoming House Democratic leader describing Trump's statement as strange and extreme. Meanwhile, Republican Mike Turner of Ohio went further to condemn the remarks. First of all, I vehemently disagree with, uh, with the statement that, that Trump has made. Trump has made, you know, a thousand statements in which I, I, I disagree. He says the Post should be a factor as their party decides who should lead them in 2024. I'm glad some Republicans seem increasingly willing to condemn Trump's lunacy, but we need more voices filling the silence. We need nothing less than an avalanche of condemnation from Republicans. But sadly, all we've gotten so far are just a few flurries here and there. It all comes amid a new report that Twitter suppressed a New York Post article on Hunter Biden ahead of the 2020 presidential elections. For days, Elon Musk had been promising details about how Twitter decided to temporarily squash the story about Hunter Biden, his dealings with a top executive at a Ukrainian energy firm, and a video reportedly showing Hunter engaging in a sex act with an unidentified woman. But the summary mostly just confirmed what was already known, that Twitter removed links to the Post story and struggled with how to react to the surprise revelation of the leak of files from a presidential candidate's son.